I'm Seth Bostead. Welcome back to the Biennial Beat. Alan Gilbert and the New York Philharmonic will close out the 2016 NY Phil Biennial with a concert showcasing the Philharmonic's long-term connections with contemporary composers and honoring two great composers who passed away this year. Renowned Danish composer Per Norgaard is the second recipient of the Marie-José Kravis Prize for New Music at the New York Philharmonic, one of the world's largest new music prizes. Norgaard's Eighth Symphony, which was well-received at its premiere in Helsinki, will be given its U.S. premiere. This powerful lyrical work will be paired with a somewhat unusual piece by Pierre Boulez, an icon of 20th century music and former music director of the New York Philharmonic. I was in the orchestra less than two years before uh, Pierre Boulez took over. Pierre Boulez was, a, was an innovator. Two of his great innovations kind of come down to us in a legacy form today. One was the Rug Concerts where he did away with the formal proscenium and so forth, moved the orchestra out into the hall. And then, of course, the other one were the perspective encounters down at the old Cooper Union uh, down in the village, where he had, uh, to a great extent, um, people uh, who were not, you know, not the, not the great contemporary musicians of the, of the day necessarily, but up-and-coming composers. Composed in 1976 as a 70th birthday present for his friend, new music advocate Paul Zacher, Boulez scored message keys for solo cello, accompanied by six additional cellos. This performance will feature Philharmonic cellist Eric Bartlett as soloist, plus his colleagues from the Philharmonic cello section. Boulez, maybe more than any other music director that we can think of, uh, other, with the possible exception of Alan Gilbert, was intensely interested in living composers and in commissioning new music and in getting a, a lot of material performed. I think it was during that period that the orchestra really developed the ability and the skills to play a lot of contemporary music. The title is a, an alliteration in French between the word message, which ends in ES, and the word esquisse, which means sketch. So it means messages sketch. Also on the program, the New York premiere of the Pulitzer Prize winning second concerto for orchestra by the late Stephen Stuckey, one of his most popular works and a stunning showpiece for the orchestra. Stuckey is a composer with a long and close relationship with the New York Philharmonic, having been commissioned twice and also as the host of the orchestra's Here and Now series. I did spend four years working with the orchestra, 2005 to 2009. I fell in love with them. Uh, they're wonderful colleagues, very supportive and very, very quick very uh, insightful. This exciting evening caps an incredible three weeks of concerts of new music from around the world. More than a hundred world premieres by young, emerging, and established composers. Performances by the next generation of artists, and even some laughs with the importance of being earnest. Thanks for joining us for the 2016 NY Phil Biennial. We hope you enjoyed playing along. I'm Seth Bostead, and this has been your Biennial Beat. <laughs>